I mean, bro, you're getting all this money. Why not just put the money in the marketing? You got nowhere to put it. It's not, it's not, it's not even that, you know, that you got to spill, spend money, beats, and, you know, that shit, that shit, it costs some cheese. It's not crazy cheese, but it's like the machine, I, I signed for the machine, you know, they, they was more old school with it. Ron Nation was more old school with it. Like, they just were worried about radio. Mm. They wasn't worried about, it. so I'm watching all these, these guys, like, basically my peers blowing past me, and everybody's like, bro, what about, yo, like, my fans, like, yo, Toffee was supposed to, like, people coming up to Meek, like, yo, what's up with Toffee? Like, Meek's telling me this shit. And then, you know, he's handling his shit. Rock Nation's the one that's supposed to really, you know, put the digital marketing plan behind together. But they they move a little different. They, you know, they more old school with it. Like, they just worried about, you know, keep, you know, oh, yeah, keep staying consistent. Keep, you know, go to state to state, handshaking, this and that radio. That's cool, too. But you still need digital marketing. We're in a different time. No, nah, facts. Yeah, I, I peeped when this shit was changing. 2021, any rapper that blew up after 2021, it's not, it's, it's, you're not going to see them. It's, they're not, it's never going to be a, anybody after 2021 is never going to be another future, another Meek, another Drake, another 10 year run. That's dead. No, nah, facts. Because the way they jacked up this whole algorithm shit is like, shit, it's like popcorn now. Like, you just got to get your little wave, make your money, and then basically you got to keep spending money, basically. Mm. No, nah, facts. You always got to keep spending money, but you now you got to keep spending like you're a new artist every time you drop. If you want to really stay consistent for all these years, nah, that shit is crazy. Yeah, I did want to talk to you about some just some real shit, real quick. Um, the one thing that I thought was interesting was like the the people that snitched on you was like your best friends. Yeah, and um, I think I seen you, you talk about this somewhere about like just friends. Like, be careful with like the friends you keep, or just be careful with friends in general. Yeah, and I'm like, that shit sounds. Sound crazy, right? Not even crazy. It, it it sounds like my heart, like my heart goes out for you for that because it's like I will understand why you feel like that. But damn, everybody need friends. No, 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 you. I got friends. I it's just you gotta you gotta really the friends you might think is the solid ones. You gotta you gotta gotta keep an eye open. But if you're not into that, if you're not into that world, you ain't really got too much to worry about. But I was into that, you know, that lifestyle. It's a little more. You got to be more on point. But even you know what I'm saying? but I, if you're not in the street life and then shit like that, you ain't got too much to worry about. You just gotta worry about being somebody being like like a liar or some shit. Like, you know. But and that's what I wanted to talk about. Not to get too heavy in my soapbox, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't have this conversation. I feel like, I mean, that's the experience that you've been through, right? Yeah. And like, I mean, our prior experience shaped the way we move Facts. in our present, in our present day. And I feel like at the highest level of friendship, your best friend told on you. Yeah. Like, how are you able to trust anybody else that you even come encounter to? I, I started, um, I started getting closer to the friends that wasn't in the streets. Mm. Yeah. But My even they that can, wasn't the, huh? even they can still cross you, though. It might not be how on they, that level. It's going to be tough. Because what are they going to cross me on? Mm. You get what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't no money exchanging. It's just, just straight friendship. That's it. Mm. That's all. What about um, like industry and the actions? Like everybody always say it's fake in the industry, things like that. Like, and sometimes I even find yeah, it's, it hard. It's, it's, a, it's a business. I don't take that personal. It's a business. Like, I'm 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 worthless if nobody can you can use me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a business. They, they you know we're not here. I didn't get put in for people to. You know. Ah man, you bullshit me on your song. Hold up. Uh, what is it? Uh. Been the one? Been the one. I've been the one. Been the one. On a song you said, I've been the one that still show love when they still owe me. I've been the one that show love when they still owe me. They ain't got nothing to do with the industry. Yeah, don't. But what I'm yeah. saying is, like, that's that's real nigga shit, right? So yeah. when I think about industry things, or I feel like, follow me, a lot of times niggas say it's business. Yeah. When, when I hear that, that's more than business. And sometimes you, and I was just talking to uh, my producer about this. Sometimes you might meet somebody in business, doing business, and do more than business with them. Right? Like, you mm -hmm. might, like, I offer my house to, to some niggas I meet doing business. Yeah. Right? That was, you know, that, that was a line I know a lot of people could relate to. Right. Yeah. But so, it, you yeah. doing that, it's like, yo, like, yeah, man, you ain't never meet nobody in this. And it's like, man, it's, it's, it's more than business, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, it was business. business, but like now, it's like, more you than got business. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah, that was just something. That's just like personal shit. They ain't really industry. Mm. That's like, you know, 
somebody you looked out for? But you never looked out for a nigga in the industry and they like still play with you? No. Nah. No. Nah. Mm-mm. If, cause if I do something, if I do something, if I show love in the industry, I just did it because I wanted to. I ain't looking for nothing in return. Okay. Yeah. But where do you, I mean, sometimes you want like reciprocation, don't know. It sounds like, like you're not a robot, it's, nigga. It's, it's, no, it's, no, it's me wanting to do it just to look out. Mm. It ain't somebody that need it. Like it, it might be some people that need it from mm. me on my charge, but I did a lot of free features too just to help. Mm. I ain't doing it for nothing in return. So if a nigga you did a feature for, I got, I got to cause I got to look at it like this. I got a lot of big features for free. Okay. Yeah. Davido, you know Jeremiah, Dolph, Ross, Meek. Uh, the list goes on. I got songs P and B Rock I ain't put out like before I got signed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I got shown the love. So why not reciprocate it? You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't got to do it to nobody. That's going. I feel like I need something back from. No, that makes sense. So you think the the only thing that's holding it back is the is the marketing? Yeah, that's all it is. Marketing. That's all I'm missing. I ain't missing nothing else. Like the labels told me, like you're the you're the best artist anybody could have asked for. Mm. I'm doing the work plus more. No. Like I've been told I was doing too much. What that mean? What you mean like doing too much? I like can't... I'm in the studio, I'm making the music, and I'm on calls with the label every day, making sure shit goes how I want it. Like I see. Uh... Or trying to. Throw ideas and shit. You probably could do some more interviews, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that's their job to set it up for me. Oh, I'll okay. send them on shit. No, I how do you like the space of like journalism and like just these podcasts and shit? I don't mind interviews. It just I like I like that's why I came here. I want interviews that people really like talking about something. Like you're not just I go on interviews asking me the same five questions. You same ask everybody else. Like I, uh, I ain't come all the way here for just for that. No, nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, facts. And then that shit is just, if I'm not interested to watch it, I know a lot of people are not going to be interested to watch it. You know, it's funny. I, I ask that because like, um, with this space of like podcasters, podcasting, you don't really have to be a journalist to do an interview. Like Kendrick Lamar just did this interview with SZA. And like a lot of the journalists are upset because it's like, bro, what the fuck? If you're going to do an interview, you're talking about this monumental moment. Why not do it with a journalist? And you do it with SZA. Nah, man. I was going to be no, that's, them days over with where you got to put a title to shit. Those days are done, bro. They got to get with the times. <laughs> they so, probably don't want to lose their job, but... Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what <laughs> like, it is, bro. Yo, of course, like, I'll be... Them days over. So you could technically... You could just have your homie, like, yo, let's do an interview. You, yeah, you could yeah, put up some content like yeah, that. Yeah, we done definitely... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we definitely... So you don't believe in, like, going to, like, traditional journalists? No. I don't care. I'll do it, but it got to be something worth going to. Well, I appreciate you saying this is worth it, my nigga. <laughs> no facts. It got to be something worth it for real. 